planning for a trip. Dialogue 1 Good morning. How can I help you? A friend and I are planning a trip to visit Europe, and I need some information on airline flights. I see. Are you interested in taking a tour? No, thanks. We've determined to go on our own. What countries do you want to see? We'd like to visit Germany and France. No problem. You can fly in and out of Berlin from here. Then you can take a train in Europe. It sounds so easy. It is. Here, I'll give you a computer printout of all the flights. Anything else? Not just now. I would like to talk this over with my friend first. Of course. Just take your time. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Dialogue 2 I'd like to take a sightseeing tour. Where do you want to go? I haven't decided yet. Do you know which tourist trail is the best for this season? Well, it depends. For a short term or a long term? A short term. Only two days. Okay, then I recommend you to go to Kukurbit Island for sightseeing. Why go there? Well, the weather is cool there at this time, as it's a northern city on the sea. And it is just five hours ride from here if you go by train. Most of all, the sea there is very clear, and there's an ancient city. Oh, it sounds good. I'm going to make a plan for there. Making Enquiries Dialogue 1 What would you like to know? Could you tell me the schedule? Let me go get it. How long is the tour? It lasts for two hours. What's the difference between these tours? This one includes dinners. Can I take the first part of the tour only? I'm afraid it's a whole day tour. Dialogue 2 How do you do? May I help you? Can you recommend a sightseeing route for us? Sure, we have all kinds of routes. What kinds of places would you like to visit? Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon. We hope to stay there for three days. Can you help us book a better hotel? Sure. We happen to have a group leaving for the Caesar Hotel tomorrow, which is right downtown, and we have 12 people, all foreigners. There's no Chinese interpreter. They'll be gathering at the front door and leaving at 8 in the morning. Would that work? All right. May I know how much this trip costs? $259 per person. Applying for a visa. Dialogue 1 Good morning, sir. I'm Chen Hong. Good morning. You're planning to visit your husband in the United States, aren't you? Yes, sir. Is your husband currently a student there? No, he is a visiting scholar. May I have a look at your notarized marriage certificate? And do you have some photos of your wedding ceremony? Yes, here you are. Looking at the photos. What a perfect match! Is this your first time to go abroad? I went to Los Angeles on business two years ago, and I also traveled around some other cities in the United States. How long are you going to stay there this time? Less than three months. Okay. Now please take the slip to the next window to pay a fee. And come back to pick up your passport this afternoon. I hope you'll have an enjoyable trip in the United States. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2 I'd like to apply for a visa. 
Do you have any relatives in America? Yes, my uncle is in America. Where does your uncle reside? His home is in New York. What's your uncle's profession? He is a doctor. Please give me your application paper. Okay, here you are. We will inform you when we give the result after three days. Booking air tickets. Dialogue 1. I'd like to book a flight to Beijing, please. Certainly, sir. What date? November 2nd, please. Single or return? I'd like a direct flight, if possible. Sure. Which class do you want? Economy class will be fine. May I have your name, please? Yes. My name is Rod Moss. Please call us and confirm your ticket around October 29th. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 Is there a flight to New York on Thursday? Sorry, we have just sold out all the tickets for Thursday. When is the next flight available? The earliest I can get you to New York is on Sunday. Could you put me on the waiting list for the flight to New York on Thursday? Okay. Will you leave your name and telephone number, please? My name is Li Lin. My telephone number is 573-6628. Okay. I'll call you if there is a cancellation. Thank you very much. Confirming the ticket. Dialogue 1. Pan American, can I help you? Hello, I'd like to confirm my flight. May I have your flight number, please? Yes, it's number 212, leaving New York at 9 o'clock in the morning on May 3rd. Oh, yes, that is our regular flight to Paris. What's your name, please? My name is Li Jian. L I J I A N. Yes, here we are. You are flying economy class, aren't you? Oh, yes. Okay. Your ticket is in order now. Mr. Li, thank you for calling to confirm. Dialogue 2. Hello, Pan American. Hello, I'd like to confirm my flight. May I have your flight number, please? Yes, it's flight number 007, leaving San Francisco at 10 o'clock in the evening on April 4th. You're flying economy class, is that right? Oh, no, I think there must be some mistakes. I'm sure I made a reservation for a first-class ticket. I can change your ticket if you like. Oh, good. It's such a long flight, and the first-class seats would be more comfortable. Thank you for calling to reconfirm. Changing the flight number. Dialogue 1 I'd like to change my flight to Shanghai, please. Yes, flight number and date, please. Flight 1, departing on April 2nd from Los Angeles. April 2nd, flight 1. And what's your name? Zhang Hong. I'll spell out the last name for you. Z-H-A-N-G. Thank you. What flight and which day would you like to change to? Still flight 1, April 5th. Okay, you have changed your flight. Please recognize it again. Flight 1, April 5th to Shanghai. Dialogue 2 United Airlines, may I help you? Yes, I've made a reservation on your flight number 626. 
departing for Honolulu on October 6th at 7.30 in the evening, and I'd like to change my reservation if possible. May I see your ticket? Yes, here you are. What flight would you like to change to? Flight 529, leaving on October 8th at 1 in the afternoon. How about your destination? Do you want to change it to? No, I won't change my destination. Just a moment, please. I'll check it. Sorry, miss. All seats are taken on the flight. What about October 10? Let me check. You're lucky. We have only one seat available on that flight. And now it's yours. Packing up. Dialogue 1 Don't forget to bring our passports and some extra cash. We'll also need our driver's license if we plan to rent a car. Got it. I'm taking a couple of dresses for formal occasions. You should take your dark suit. I'll wear that suit on the plane to save space. We should take along some pills just in case you get airsick. Oh, man. Look at this suitcase. It's falling apart. I need a new one. I'm taking along a duffel bag for bringing back anything we buy on the trip. How about umbrellas and raincoats? No, we can buy them there if we need that. Dialogue 2 Make sure your certificates are taken. It is useful when you are on a tour. Which certificate do you think I must take with me? Have you taken your ID card? Of course. Where did you put it? I put it in the big red bag. Why don't you take your certificate of soldier? Well, I forgot it. Have you bought a map of the place you are going to visit? No, not yet. I will go to buy at once. Flight delay. Dialogue 1. Rats. We got up at the crack of dawn just to end up sitting around waiting. Time will fly. How will we know when our flight is ready to board? We'll hear an announcement over the loudspeaker. I think I'll nod off for a few minutes. Don't worry, I'll wake you up. By the way, did you notice which way our boarding gate is? You are such a worrywart. I know where the gate is. Now go to sleep. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, when do we arrive in Paris? We are due in Paris at 7.30 p.m. local time, but we're going to London as the weather in Paris is bad. How long are we to stop in London? It's hard to say, perhaps two hours. Is there anything wrong, sir? You know, we are to catch CA 932 at 9.30 in Paris. We're afraid that we might miss the flight as the result of the delay. If we miss the flight, we will have to stay one more day in Paris, waiting for the next flight. Can you do anything for us? I'm sorry. The only thing we can do is to contact CAAC office in Paris when we get there. Flight cancellation. Dialogue 1 I need to be in Los Angeles by 12 o'clock, but my flight has been cancelled. What can I do now? We are going to reroute you on a flight departing at 7 with a connection in Chicago and arriving in Los Angeles at 11.30. What about my baggage? Don't worry, your baggage will be automatically transferred. What time do I reboard the plane in Chicago? The airline personnel there will tell you.
Dialogue 2 Do you know any information about flight number 123? I'm sorry. I just don't have any information on flight number 123. What's wrong with it on Earth? I'm almost tired of waiting. Sorry, sir. I've just been informed that that flight has been cancelled. What's the reason? Sorry, the cause is unknown until now. What should I do then? Refund? We can refund you the whole price plus 20% of the ticket price. I have no choice but to refund. Safety Inspection Dialogue 1 Please put your handbag onto the x-ray scanner. Oh sure, here it is. Are you carrying anything metallic in your bag? Oh yes, I forgot my keys was in it. I see. Please go through the detector. Me? Yes. Alright, is there anything wrong? No, you're okay now. Dialogue 2 Miss, it's your turn. Please put your handbag onto the x-ray scanner. Oh, sure. Now step through this arch. The arch makes a high-pitched sound. Please step over here, miss. Did I do something wrong? Is everything okay? Don't worry. Are you carrying anything metallic with you? Maybe it's my bracelets. Could be. Please remove them and put them into this plastic container. And step again through the arch. Okay. Now step again through the arch. Like this? That's right. You're okay now. Checking in before boarding. Dialogue 1. May I have your ticket and passport, please? Here they are. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? A window seat, if it is available. Let me see if we have. Good. There is only one left. You are so lucky. Thank you for trouble. Dialogue 2 I'd like to check in, please. May I see your passport and ticket, please? Here you are. Excuse me, madam. Do you have any baggage to check? No, I've this shoulder bag only. I see. Here are your ticket, passport, and boarding pass, madam. Your seat is 4D. It's an aisle seat. Thank you. Checking in luggage. Dialogue 1 Should I have my luggage labeled for Houston here? Yes. How many pieces of luggage do you have? We'll have a look through them. I've got three. Here they are. I must have them weighed on the scale. Okay, as you say. Ah, you're overweight for 20 kilos. Do I need to pay more money? Are you a group? Yes. Oh, there is no charge for group traveling. And here are the tags for your traveling bags. Thanks. It will be more convenient to claim our luggage with them. Dialogue 2 I'm sorry, sir. Your bag is overweight. What can I do? Do you want to repack it? I don't have any space to move things to. I'm afraid you'll have to pay an excess weight charge. How much is the excess baggage charge? The rate for excess luggage is $7 per kilogram. You should pay $14 as your bag is overweight for 2 kilos. Okay, here it is. Looking for a seat.
Dialogue 1. Could you show me where seat 30A is? This way, please. Your seat is on the left side. Could you help me put my bag in the overhead bin? Certainly. Thank you. How long does it take to fly to Tokyo? Exactly four hours. We'll arrive there at 4.30 p.m. I see. It's glad to travel with you. Me too. Please press the button if you'd like to call me. Dialogue 2 May I help you find your seat? Yes, please. It's 30J. Right here, the window seat, sir. Thank you. Where can I put my bag? You can place them underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. Okay. Overhead bin. Let me help you, sir. Thank you. Changing seats. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind trading seats with me? Not at all. Let's change now. Thank you. That is very kind of you. You are welcome. I prefer an aisle seat. Good. I prefer a window seat. Sometimes I get scared looking outside the window. And I often use the washroom. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, miss. My wife and I were assigned separate seats. Do you have any empty seats together somewhere? Would you wait a moment, please? I'll check for you. Sir, we have some seats available in the back of the cabin. Would that be all right? Yes, thank you. Can we move to there right now? Yes, please hurry up. We'll be leaving very shortly. Having meals on the plane. Dialogue 1 Would you care for a drink, sir? Yes, please. A martini on the rocks. Gin or vodka? Vodka. And would you like that with an olive or a twist of lemon? Olive, please. There you are. And that will be two dollars. Here. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Will dinner be served on the plane? Yes, sir. I'll bring you a menu shortly after we take off. That would be nice. Later. Here's the menu, sir. Just take a look at it. Oh, thank you. Let me see. I like the B course. Okay. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of orange juice. Getting airsick and uncomfortable. Dialogue 1 You look pale. Are you okay? I feel sick. I'm going to throw up. Do you? Let me get the airsick bag ready. Do you have any pills for air sickness? No, I forgot to bring it. Maybe I should not have had the meal. Don't worry, just close your eyes and relax. Hold the bag in case you vomit. Dialogue 2 Stordis, I'm not feeling very well right now. What seems to be the problem? I've got dizziness and nausea and feel like vomiting. You seem to have some air sickness. We have medicine on the plane. I'll get some for you. Thank you. Later. Here is the medicine and water. Take it right now. It's very kind of you. By the way, could you get me a window seat? Sure. I will arrange it for you in a minute. Time difference.
Dialogue 1. What is the time difference between Beijing and Vancouver? 16 hours. Vancouver is 16 hours behind. Are we losing or gaining a day on the way to Canada? We are gaining a day. Does it mean we are departing Beijing and arriving Vancouver on the same day? That is correct. Dialogue 2 What's the time in New York? The local time is 3 in the afternoon, sir. What's that time difference between the two places? It's 12 hours behind us. Do you have any idea what time it is in Rome now? It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And Frankfurt? The same. They're in the same time zone. At the immigration office. Dialogue 1 What is the purpose of your trip? Sightseeing. Where are you staying? At my friend's house. How long will you stay in the United States? Just three weeks. How much money do you have? $400 in cash and $2,000 in traveler's checks. Okay. Please leave your prints and photo here. Dialogue 2 are you a visitor or a resident? A visitor. What is the purpose of your visit? On business. Where will you be staying? I have hotel reservations in LA and New York. Do you have the addresses handy? Here is a copy of my itinerary. Thanks. Welcome to the US. Your papers are all in order. Please get your baggage and go to the next line for your customs inspection. Thank you. Customs Declaration Dialogue 1 Do you have anything special to declare? I bought a bottle of bourbon at the duty-free shop, but that's for my personal use. That will be fine then. What about these chocolate candies? They are gifts for my friends. Do I have to pay tax on them? No, since they are not expensive, you don't have to pay. So, can I leave now? Okay, I think you are cleared and you may go through now. Dialogue 2 Is all this baggage yours? No, some of are my friends. Do you have any carry-on items? Do you mean the bag? Do you want me to put it on the belt too? Yes, please. Do you have anything to declare? You mean tobacco or alcohol? No, we didn't bring any. Any contraband? Any fresh food, live plants, or animals? Oh, no, none of that. Thank you. Lock up your suitcase. Here are your passports. Thanks a lot. Cashing checks. Dialogue 1 Good morning. Can you cash these traveler's checks for me? Certainly. How much do you want to cash? $100. Fine. May I see your passport, please? Here it is. Thank you. Please sign each check. How's that? That's fine. How do you want it? Nine tens and the rest in ones, please. Nine tens and ten singles. Here you are. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? Yes, please. Can I cash this check here? No, I'm afraid you can't. This is a crossed check, not negotiable. Oh dear, what should I do with the check then? Well, you have to pay the check into your account first. 
That's to secure that only the person to whom the check was written gets the money. That's a good idea. Would you please tell me the proper procedure? Certainly, sir. Here's deposit slip. Please fill it out and sign under name. The money will be added to your account when the check is cleared. Would you like me to record this transaction in your passbook? Yes, please. Here's my passbook. To the hotel. Dialogue 1 Could you have a taxi pick me up and take me to your hotel before 1 o'clock p.m.? What is your place, sir? Palace Airport. Which terminal will you be at? Number 2. Okay. Someone will be there by 12.15. What are your rates? It is $2 initially and 35 cents for each quarter mile. I have four very large suitcases. Will those fit in the taxi? No, I'll send a larger vehicle to pick you up. Dialogue 2 Hello, Hilton Hotel. My name is Ed Chin. I would like to request a pickup from the airport. Certainly, sir. Please exit the terminal and go to the pickup spot just outside the door. I will radio a driver to meet you. How long will it take? About 10 minutes. How long is the ride to the hotel? Traffic is backed up today, so it will take about 30 minutes. Sorry about that. No problem. Thank you. Checking in with reservation. Dialogue 1 I'd like to check in. May I have your name? Yes, Li Ming. Do you have a reservation with us, sir? Yes, I do. Mr. Li Ming, your reservation is for a double room for two nights, right? That's right. Could you fill out the registration card, please? All right. How would you like to settle your bill? By credit card. Okay. Your room number is 25 on the third floor. Have an enjoyable stay. Dialogue 2 My name is James Brooks. I have a reservation. I'm sorry, Mr. Brooks. You had planned to arrive at about 6 tonight, but it is near midnight now, so we cancelled your reservation. Yes, I didn't have a chance to call you. Do you have any other rooms available? We only have an executive suite available now. How much are those? $550 a night. That's pretty expensive, but I guess I've no choice. But I want to change rooms tomorrow. Leading to the room. Dialogue 1 Here we are. This is your room. The bathroom is here. Are there any extra blankets? Sometimes I feel cold at night. You can call the chambermaid and ask her for that. Okay. And can I have some ice? There's a machine near the elevator. Just help yourself. If you need anything else, please call room service. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your visit. Dialogue 2 Well, what do you think of the room? It's very pleasant, and it's also cool. I love the color scheme. White and blue are cool colors. And of course, the room is air-conditioned. There is plenty of hanging space in these fitted wardrobes. In fact, more than I shall need. Perhaps you'll need it when you buy the lovely clothes. By the way, you have a telephone on the bedside table. That's very convenient, as you can phone whenever you want. 
I'm going to enjoy it. The bathroom is over there, and we have a 24-hour hot and cold water supply. Laundry service. Dialogue 1. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? Can I have the laundry done today? Certainly, sir. Can you fill out the laundry form first, please? Okay. Here you are. That's fine. Thank you. By the way, where is your laundry? Here, in the laundry bag. Any more? No. Do I then leave it outside my room? No, leave it inside and someone will pick it up. When will it be ready? Tomorrow morning. Dialogue 2 I'd like to have this laundry done. Could you fill out the laundry form? Okay. I want to have this sweater washed by hand in cold water. It might shrink otherwise. By hand in cold water. I understand. And I'd like this garment dry cleaned, please. Okay, anything else? Do you have a mending service for clothes? I'd like the dress mended. Yes, we can mend them. When will they be ready? We will deliver them tomorrow evening around 6 o'clock p.m. Room service. Dialogue 1. What time do you begin your service in the morning? We usually start from 7. But if you have special needs, you can tell the front desk the night before. Oh, but... Or you can also tell me now. We'll send your food over at your requested time. Very good. Could you send two American breakfasts to our room at 6.30 tomorrow morning? We must leave the hotel before 7 o'clock. No problem. So, room 1005, two American breakfasts, 6.30 tomorrow morning. That's right. Dialogue 2 Room service, may I help you? Can I still get something to eat at this time of night? What would you like? I'll have a sandwich and a hot chocolate. What kind of sandwich would you like? We have steak, cheese, ham, salami, tuna, chicken. I'll take the tuna, please. No problem, sir. May I have your name and your room number? This is Bob Jackson, room 801. Good. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Morning call service. Dialogue 1 Will you do me a favor, miss? Certainly, sir. I wonder if your hotel has the morning call service. Yes, sir. Would you like a morning call? Yes. I must get up earlier tomorrow. At what time do you want me to call you up, sir? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By phone. Okay. I'll tell the operator to call you up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Anything else I can do for you? No, thanks. Dialogue 2 Room service, can I help you? I'm going to New York early tomorrow morning, so I would like to request an early morning call. No problem. At what time would you like us to call you tomorrow morning? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By knocking at the door, I usually have a deep sleep. Okay, so we will wake you up at 6 tomorrow morning. Housekeeping Dialogue 1 Housekeeping, 
May I clean your room now, madam? Come in, please. Good morning, madam. Good morning. What about tidying up a bit in the bathroom? We've had a bath and it's quite a mess. Okay, I clean the toilet bowl, wash basin, and tub. Then put some fresh towels there. And we need two more pairs of bath slippers. All right. I get off at 10 30 a.m., but I will tell the daytime attendant to send them up. Thank you. And the children have just played on the bed, so please change our sheets and pillowcases. No problem. I will tidy it up. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Housekeeping, may I come in? Oh, sorry. I haven't even got up yet. When would you like me to do your room? Could you come back in an hour? I'm sorry to disturb you. If you need clean your room, please call DTS or HSKP or hang the Make Up the Room card. I will, thank you. Maintenance Service Dialogue 1 Is this the maintenance department? This is room 403. Yes, what is it, sir? The TV set in my room doesn't work. Have you checked the plug? They get pulled out sometimes. Yes, I checked that. And this is the second time that it hasn't worked. I'm sorry. I'll send someone right up to have a check. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Room service, may I help you? This is from room 208. I'm afraid that the heating system doesn't work. It's very cold here. Have you switched it on the radiator? Yes, I have switched it on for almost half an hour. The room is still very cold. We're terribly sorry for that. We'll send our staff to fix it now. Or do you want to change your room? I prefer not to move first. Okay. Is it convenient for us to come now? Yes, please. Offline service. Dialogue 1. Hello, Mr. Wang? Yes, what is the matter? Oh, you have a message note here. Who's it from? A Mr. Lee. He said he's your friend in New York, and he wanted you to call him back as soon as possible. Let me see. Oh, it's Tom. Did he say anything else? No, nothing else. All right. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2. This is Johnson in room 218. Yes, Mr. Johnson. Any messages for me? Just a moment, sir. Yes, Mr. Johnson, there's a message for you. Who is it from? It's from John Simmons. S I M M O N S. Will you read it to me, please? He said, I will come to your hotel tomorrow afternoon at 3. What time did Mr. Simmons call? Did he leave his phone number? At 10 30 this morning. His home phone number is 5716 2322. Is there anything else, sir? No, thank you. Goodbye. Barber service. Dialogue 1. Good morning, sir. I'm the top stylist here. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I want a haircut, please. Very well. And how would you like your haircut, sir? Just a trim and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top? Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave the front as it is. Okay. Do you want me to trim your mustache? Yes, please.
Dialogue 2. What would you like? Permanent wave, cold wave, or washed and dressed? A shampoo and set, please. Would you like a new hairstyle? Or just keep it the way you have it now. I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps you should go even shorter. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. I've had it this way for so long, and I'm getting tired of it. Okay, you should also get highlights put in. I'm worried it will make my hair look unnatural. No, no, that would be very subtle. Making complaints. Dialogue 1. Operator. Yes, may I help you? I've been trying to get through to the front desk for the last five minutes. Their line is always busy. Why did it take so long? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. During peak hours, the line is often engaged. Shall I ask them to call you back when the line is free? Thank you. Dialogue 2 Could I see the manager, please? I have a complaint. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I checked in your hotel on Wednesday. During my staying here, something made me feel uncomfortable. I'm all ears. First, when I checked in, the receptionist complained that I didn't make a reservation. But is it necessary to make a reservation for each time? No, it's not necessary. Second, in the guest room, some facilities had problems. Some lights couldn't turn on. And there is no hot water in the washroom. And TV channels are too limited. I'm sorry to hear that. The last, the service for guest room was too slow and the staff was in a bad service attitude. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. I'll attend to it immediately. Checking out. Dialogue 1. I would like to pay the bill. I'll be right with you, Mr. House. Have you made any long-distance calls, please? Yes, last night to Rome. How would you like to take care of it? Can I pay my bill with a traveler's check? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. That being the case, I'll pay with American Express. Of course, sir. If you would just check the additional charges and sign, that will be everything. Everything seems to be in order. Here is your receipt. We hope you will stay with us again. Dialogue 2 Good morning. We'd like to check out now, please. May I have your room number, please? Certainly. This is room 501. We'll send someone up to help you with your luggage right away. Could you tell me which is better to go to the airport, by bus or by taxi? I recommend a taxi if you are in a hurry. How long does it take to the airport by taxi? About half an hour. Can you call a taxi for me? Okay, please wait a minute. Other requests. Dialogue 1. Reception, may I help you? I've lost my room key when I went out. Will you open it for me? But do you have another key to your room, the extra key? Oh, sorry, I left in my room. In that case, I can send up the bellboy with a master key. What is your room number? 1205. Where are you? I'm right outside my room. I'll send someone to open the door in a minute. You may wait upstairs now. Dialogue 2 Good evening. Can I help you? Good evening. I'm Li Jing in room 102. I wonder if it is possible for me to extend my stay for two days. 
I'll take a look at the hotel's booking situation. Yes, I'm glad that we'll be able to accept your extension request. But I'm afraid you have to change rooms for the last two nights. You see, we have already let your room to someone else. Is that okay? Yes, no problem. Let me see. Room 210 will be vacant. How about that room? That is fine. The new occupant will be checking in a little after 12 tomorrow. That means I have to move out before 12. Well, I think I will move at 10.30. Reserving a table. Dialogue 1. Good morning, the Good Boy Restaurant. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a table for dinner. What time would you like your table, sir? I'm not sure. About 5 o'clock p.m.? Okay. How many in your party? A party of four. Then I'll reserve a table for four at 5 p.m., sir. May I have your name, please? Yes. Wang Hong. Thanks. Goodbye. Dialogue 2 I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. For how many people, please? Five adults and two children. For what time, please? About 7.30 this evening. How much do you want to spend? About $20 per person. We'd like to sit together. Okay, and may I have your name? Yes, Jordan. And put us as close as possible to the window, please. I would not be sure, but I'll try my best. Taking a seat. Dialogue 1. Good evening, sir. Welcome to our restaurant. Have you made a reservation? Yes, I have booked a table for four. Here is the reservation list. My name is Dung. We have chosen a window table for you. This way, please. Will this table be all right, sir? Certainly. It's quite good. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. This separate room has a very good view of the city. This room is near the band platform. Is it going to be very noisy when the band plays some music? Oh, don't worry, sir. The sound of the music is quite soft. We'll not bring you any inconvenience. Could you stay and listen to it for a while? If you don't like it, I'll find another table for you. Is that okay? That's great. You really give good service indeed. Dialogue 2 My name is Lisa. I made a reservation of table for three. Yes, madam. Would you like a table in the smoking or non-smoking section? In the non-smoking section, please. Come this way, please. Here we are. Oh, it's a nice private room with a beautiful view. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Ordering food. Dialogue 1. Here's your menu. Could you tell us about the specials of the day? We have coconut shrimp, served with rice and a side salad. We also have prime rib, only $8 per person, including salad, choice of potato or rice, and a roll. I think I'll just have your prime rib with rice. Would you like appetizers or a salad to go with that? Yes, I'll take salad. Dialogue 2 Would you like an appetizer to start with? I'd like to try the egg salad. That's good. And then? I'm going to try the oysters florentine. Well, what about the entree? What is this one? Dover sole chablisine. That sole with mushroom and snail butter. That sounds nice. I'll have that. Okay.
hurrying the waiter to serve up. Dialogue one. Here is the sole salad. Is it yours? Yes, it's ours, and we have ordered another dish: Italian style fried bacon rolls. It's coming. We have an appointment at noon. Will you tell the cooks to hurry up? Certainly. Thank you very much. Dialogue two. Excuse me. Yes. Our food seems to be taking a long time, doesn't it? We ordered half an hour ago, but our meal hasn't arrived yet. We have to leave pretty soon. I'm sorry. I'll see what's happened. Thank you. Service during the meal. Dialogue one. Do you enjoy the dish? Yes, it's really good. Would you like more? Oh yes, just more share. Yes, I will get you right away. By the way, please give me a glass of water. Okay, I'll bring it right away. Anything else? Can I have a doggy bag? I want to take the beef home. Sure, I will wrap it up for you. Dialogue two. It doesn't taste right to me. It's too weak. Could you get me some salt? Sure. Will that be all? And we want to share this food. Could you bring some small plates? Just a minute. Here are your salt and two small plates. Thank you very much. Always at your service. Please enjoy your meal. Having fast food. Dialogue one. That looks good. I'll have a hamburger. The works? No, just lettuce and tomatoes. Anything to drink? A large Coke. That'll be one dollar sixty cents. Here's your number. Should I wait at the counter or find a table to sit down? Just wait here. It will be ready in three minutes. Dialogue two. Hey guys, what'll it be? I'd like a double cheeseburger, fries, and a shake. And I'll have a fillet of fish, a chicken burger, larger tossed salad, onion rings, and a shake. What flavors would you like for your shakes? Strawberry. Tropical fruit. Altogether, that'll be six dollars ninety-eight cents. Here's a ten. Is that for here or to go? For here. Here's your change, three dollars two cents. Thanks, folks. Enjoy. Drinking in the bar. Dialogue one. I'll have a bottle of the stronger one, please. Certainly, sir. Here you are. And a large scotch, please. On the rocks, sir. No thanks. Anything else, sir? Yes, something non-alcoholic for me, please. A tonic water, fruit juice, or a ginger ale, perhaps. Tomato juice, please. Dialogue two. A pint of bitter, please, bartender. I'm sorry, sir, but we only have two types of beer: the medium strength beer and the export beer. Which is better? Well, the export beer is stronger, but both are the light larger type. They are bottled. I'm afraid we do not have draft beer. I'll have a bottle of the stronger on, please. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Paying the bill. Dialogue one. Are you all through, sir? 
Yes. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, everything was very good. Can I have my bill, please? Yes, one moment, please. Here you are, sir. Here is seventy dollars. Keep the change, please. Thank you. Please come again. We will. Bye. Dialogue two. Did you enjoy your dinner, Mama? Oh, very much. Just excellent. I'd like to pay my bill. Yes, Mama. Your bill comes to two hundred eighty-two francs. Do you mind if I pay it with a credit card? I'm sorry, Mama. We do not honor credit cards here. Oh, I see. Then I'll pay in cash. And what's the exchange rate today? It's nine point five francs to a dollar. Here is thirty dollars. Keep the change. Thank you. Your receipt is here. Please come again. Thank you. Taking a bus. Dialogue one. Does this bus get to Washington Square? Oh no! You should take the number fifty-two tram car. Thank you. Where can I take it? Two blocks down the street. What's the stop called? International Fair Center. But I don't know which stop I should get off. You can get off in three more stops. Three more stops? The sign will say Washington Square. Get off there. Dialogue two. Welcome to our bus. Excuse me, is this the right bus for Ling Yin Temple? Yes, it's number seven bus. Do I have to change? No, Ling Yin Temple is the terminal of this bus. How much is the ticket? It's two yuan. Please drop your money into the box and be seated in the rear. When we get there, I'll let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. Taking the subway. Dialogue one. Can I help you? What should I do with the token? You put it in the slot at the turnstile, and then push the turnstile to get into the platform. By the way, how can I get out of the platform after I get off the train? That's very easy. The exits are always open, and there are signs. You'll see. Dialogue two. Which train do I take to the fifth circle? Take the uptown C train and get off at the sixth station. How about the transfer? You can ask the officer when you buy ticket. And where can I get the train? Just go down those steps. Thank you very much. Taking a taxi. Dialogue one. Hi, taxi. Please hop in. Where to? Guanghua Hotel, please. Okay, put this baggage into the trunk, please. Do you think you can get me there within half an hour? I think we can get there in time if there are no holdups. Are you in a hurry? Yes, I have an appointment at three thirty p.m. You will be there in plenty of time. Don't worry. Dialogue two. Let me off in front of Park Hotel. Okay, here we are. What's the fare? Twenty-five dollars. Here is the money. Keep the change, please. Oh, thanks a lot. Taking a train. Dialogue one. Second class return to London, please. 
That's twenty-five pounds, please. Here you are. When does the train for London depart? You'd better hurry. It leaves in five minutes. I don't think I can make it. When is the next train for London? At ten thirty. Thank you. I'll take that one. Dialogue two. Is this car five? Yes. Get in, please. Where is my berth, please? It's over there. Let me show you. Where shall we put our suitcases? On the overhead rack. Oh, it's full. Put them under the berth. Missing the train or bus. Dialogue one. Which is the train to Yellowstone Park? Sorry, I'm afraid the train to Yellowstone Park just left. Oh my God! I missed the train. No problem. The train to Yellowstone Park leaves per hour. You can take the next one. Good. Will I take it in the same platform? No. The next train will stop at the third platform. Do I need buy another ticket? No, you don't. Thank you. Dialogue two. Can you do me a favor? I was with the Gray Line tour and I've missed the bus. What should I do? Which tour were you on? Tour one, the full day sightseeing tour. I see. Well, I'm sure that bus stops at the Century Plaza, so you can catch it there. Great. I'll take a taxi. I'd catch a local bus if I were you. It leaves from the bus stop on the corner by the bank. What's the number? Number three. The Century Plaza stop is either the sixth or the seventh. Ask the driver. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope you catch it. Getting off. Dialogue one. Excuse me. What is the next station? Chinatown. Is this where I get off? Where are you going? Fu Chao Restaurant. Right here. It's just near the stop. Okay. Thank you. Dialogue two. What did you say your stop was? The Fifth Avenue. The Fifth Avenue. You are past your stop. You should have gotten off at the last stop. Should I? But you didn't call me. Sorry, there are too many people. I forgot it. Is it far from here? Don't worry. You can get off at the next stop and walk back. It's just a couple of blocks. What is the next stop? It's City Square. Renting a car. Dialogue one. I want to rent a car for one week. Okay, no problem. What type do you have in mind? Do you have any Japanese cars? Midsize SUV. Yes. Let me see. We have a Honda Odyssey. Is that okay? Great. What's the rate per day? It's fifty dollars plus tax per day, unlimited mileage. I'm going to keep it for five days. Can I see your driver's license? Sure. Here is my driver's license. Please sign here. Dialogue two. How many people will be driving the car? Only me. Do you offer insurance on this rental car? Yes, we do. Do you want insurance? I'd like full insurance. Good. The insurance for one person is two dollars a day. All right. Can I return the car at another one of your agencies? Yes. Just make sure to show them your driver's license, and they will be able to pull all your information from the computer. Okay.
Here is our emergency roadside service phone number. If you have any problems, just call and someone will come pick you up. Parking Dialogue 1 Hi, any spot left? Yes, there are still plenty of spots. What is the parking fee per hour here? 10 yuan an hour. How much would it be if I parked here for an hour and 10 minutes? 20 yuan, sir. We charge by the number of hours. I see. Thanks. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. Is this your car? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm afraid you've parked in the wrong spot. Oh, really? Isn't this spot E123? No, it's F123, my parking space. Yours is over there. I'm sorry, I must have been confused. I'll move my car right away. It's no big deal. Being fined for violation. Dialogue 1 Excuse me, miss. May I see your driver's license? Yes, here it is. Any violations, officer? You were speeding. I'm sorry. I don't know the speed limit of this zone. This is a 35-mile zone, and you were driving 45. There is your citation. Please read the instructions on it and go to pay the fine. Okay. May I have my driver's license now? Here you go. Be careful from now on. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Hey, boy, get off, please. You were just running a red light. Was I? I didn't see the red light. Did you? Look, it's just behind you. Now, please show me your license. Here is my license. I have to give you a penalty ticket. How much will I be fined for running a red light? The citation is 392 USD, plus traffic school fee, 40 USD. That will be 432 USD. Oh dear! You know, I'm a visitor here, so I'm quite strange to this place. Well, in that case, I will let you go. Please pay attention to the traffic regulations here. Thank you very much. I will be careful next time. Traffic Accidents Dialogue 1 Oh my God! Are you all right, miss? Thank goodness. I'm just all right. I'm very sorry I hit you. And I hope that the damage to your car isn't serious. The left front side is dented. We should call the police. Don't worry. I will call the cop at once. All right. May I have your plate number? Sure. I'll write it down on my business card, and my insurance will pay for this. They will contact you soon. Thanks. Anyway, I feel really sorry for this. Dialogue 2 Hello, 911. Can I help you? It's an emergency. I was in a car accident. Where did it happen? What street are you on? East Hilton Drive. Stay right there. We'll be there in five minutes. Could you call an ambulance for me? My friend was hurt. Okay. Consulting Sightseeing Information Dialogue 1 Are there any bus tours in the city? Certainly. We have a one-day tour and a half-day tour. Can I have a copy of the route map and schedule? 
Sure, here you are. I'd like to take a one-day tour. Does it include the admission to the park and museum? Yes, it includes all expenses. Only meals will be at your own cost. Do you think I can visit all those places in one day? No, you can't if you want to take a good look. Dialogue 2 What kind of tours do you have? What kind of tour would you like? Is there a sightseeing bus tour? Yes, we have many kinds. Where can I book a sightseeing tour? Just step to the next window. Do you have tours every day? All days except for Sundays. Do you have a half-day tour? No, all the tours we have take all day. Buying tickets. Dialogue 1. How much is a ticket? $20 for adults and $10 for children. What about for students? It is $10, too. Two tickets for students, please. Please show me your certificates first. Well, we just forgot to take them with us. I'm afraid you can't buy half-price tickets without showing certificates. Can't we? No, you must buy the tickets for adults. Dialogue 2 How much is the ticket? It's $10 for adults and $6 for children under 12 years old. Two for adults and three for children. By the way, how much does it cost to ride roller coaster? $5. Then five tickets for roller coaster. You have to buy them inside. Oh, all right. Here are your tickets. Thank you. Taking pictures. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, madam. Would you mind taking a few pictures for us? Sure. Just stand over there. Can you get the whole square in? Move back a little bit. Now to the left. There, that's perfect. Say cheese. Good. Thanks. Could you take one more shot, please? I can't get it focused. Just push the button on the front, under the lens. It should zoom in. Got it. Could you snap a picture for us next to this sign? You've got it. Move in a little closer there, friends. Don't squint. Thanks for everything. Dialogue 2 Look, the sun is rising. What a beautiful sight. I have never seen such a beautiful sight. Take pictures, please. Well, please, just stand there. I will take a picture for you. Can you take the sun into the picture? Of course. It is just besides you. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three, okay. Thank you. Taking the tour bus. Dialogue 1. Welcome to take the tour bus. Does the morning tour visit the UN? No, sir. That's in the all-day tour. Then I have to get off to take the all-day tour. But during this tour, we will visit the most famous place. You shouldn't miss it. Where will you go? The famous Broadway. I promise you will think it worth going. Okay, then I will go on this trip with you. How long does the tour last? It takes six hours, sir. I see. Can I pay in traveler's checks? Of course you can. That's $25. Dialogue 2 Welcome to this sightseeing tour. First, we will go to the Chinatown, then the National Museum, and the City Hall. Hooray!
We're now passing Columbia University. I see it. Good university. Excuse me. What is that tall building? It's the United Nations building. Wow, the United Nations? Can we make a stop here? Sorry, but it's beyond our schedule. It's really a pity. I have to take another time to see it. Watching the game. Dialogue 1. Do you still have tickets for today? We have plenty left. Can I get a ticket for a Major League Baseball game? Any team in particular. Are the Mariners playing today? Let me see if I can find out. Ah, yes. One? Yes. Only one, please. The game will be very exciting, as this is an important match. Hope the Mariners will have good performance. Dialogue 2 Where is the stadium? There's a pretty good stadium in town. I would love to see a ball game. Which teams are playing? I heard that Bulls vs. Lakers this week. Is that true? Do you think we can get tickets? We can go to the box office to check it out. If not, we can always try our fortune at the door. It seems you are really a die-hard fan of basketball. You blow me away. Making friends. Dialogue 1. This is a lovely place. So it is. Where are we now? What is this station? This is Iran. How long will we stop here? Only a few minutes. How soon will we go to Madrid? Not for four more hours. That's a long time. I'm hungry. So am I. How about going to the buffet car? Good idea. We can have a drink. Dialogue 2 Hi. How do you do? I'm Jack. Hi. How do you do? I'm Li Jian. Are you on business or pleasure? I'm going on business. Where to? Newfoundland. My goodness, that's where I go too. Really? What a coincidence. Maybe we can go around between the connecting flights. Good idea. The plane is landing. Let's go together. Okay. Losing the way. Dialogue 1. Good morning, sir. I think I'm lost here. I want to go to a hotel called Jin Mun. Do you know on which street? No, I'm sorry I have no idea. You know I'm a stranger here. I see. Well, do you know any landmarks near the hotel? Oh, yes. My friends told me the hotel was just around Pizza Hut. Then you'll have to take bus number 37 and get off at Lee Shi Road. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, but will you tell me the way to the art museum? Go straight on the street. Go three blocks and you'll come to a park. The museum is in the park. How long does it take on foot? About 20 minutes. Thank you very much. Oh, once more. Could you show me the way to the post office? Go two blocks, and on the corner on the right, you'll find the Westbury Hotel. The post office is on the first floor. You can easily find the office as you can see the post office sign. Getting ill on the way. Dialogue 1 What's wrong with you? I have an upset stomach. Do you want to see a doctor? I have been suffering from this old disease for quite a long time. 
There is no point to seeing a doctor. But I think you need to see a doctor as we are going on the journey. If something goes wrong, we have to carry the can. Well, let's go and see a doctor then. Wait a moment. I will call the bus driver and he will drive you to the hospital. Thanks a lot. You're very considerate. Dialogue 2 Good morning, sir, but you look pale. I didn't sleep well last night. I feel completely exhausted now. Oh, I'm sorry. You'd better see a doctor. Could you tell me where the nearest hospital is? It'll take you half an hour to go to the number one hospital by bus number 108. If you take a taxi, it takes only five minutes. Please call a taxi for me. Sure. Lost property. Dialogue 1. I can't find my passport. Do you remember when did you see it for the last time? Yes, I just saw it in my bag yesterday afternoon. Oh, then how have it gone? I don't know either. It is lost now. Could you help me find it? Sure. We must unfold all of our baggage and search for it. Thank you. I hope we could find it. Otherwise, we have to make touch with the Chinese embassy. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Yes, may I help you? I lost my wallet. I had my credit card and passport in it. What's your name? Wang Ming. What kind of wallet is it? It's black, about this size, with the initial WM on the inside. Let me check. Is it this one? Fantastic. It's mine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This wallet was found on the street by a schoolboy. Dialing public calls. Dialogue 1. May I use this telephone for an international call? Yes, but do you have the telephone card? No, I'm just a traveler here. Then you have to exchange some coins. Could you change the dollar bill for coins? Yes, give me the money and I will change for you. Okay, here you are. And here are the coins. Go ahead, please. Just insert the coin into the slot here. Deposit 75 cents for the first three minutes, please. Oh, thank you very much. Dialogue 2 May I use this telephone? Of course, please. Could you tell me the way of using the telephone? Yes, you should insert a coin first. How much should I put in it? At least 20 cents. And then I can dial the number directly, can I? Yes, it will give you the conduction sign. Looking for the washroom. Dialogue 1 That curry is playing hell with my insides. Nothing is the matter with me. Is there a comfort station nearby? Yes, on the left side at the end of this way. Is there an entrance fee? No, it's free of charge. Excuse me for a moment. I'll be right back. Dialogue 2 Where is the women's restroom? Do you see where that woman just turned around? Are you talking about the one in the blue shirt? Yes, that one. Go there and turn right. Thanks. My husband also needs to go. Is the men's restroom there too? Yes. New York Dialogue 1
This is Central Park, isn't it? Yes, we can enter by the main gate. Okay. Wow, it looks very large. Right, it covers an enormous area. Do you come here often? I like to come whenever I have time. It's very nice weather, so it's pleasant to take a walk. Not too many people today. No, but on Sundays and holidays, it's quite crowded. Dialogue 2 Well, what do you think of this city? Is it bigger than you thought? Yes, I'm quite impressed. The subway system is pretty well developed now. It looks wonderful. Do the roads go all across the city? Yes, it's a big network. So you can drive anywhere very quickly. Yes, it's very convenient. Hawaii. Dialogue 1. Welcome to Molokini Snorkel Cruise. Oh, wonderful. Come aboard our 55-foot power catamaran, the Frogman, and let us bring you three miles off the shores of Maui to an ancient volcanic cinder cone called Molokini. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Ready. Molokini is a world-class dive area and a marine life conservation district seabird sanctuary, known for its colorful sea life and clear water. How about the visibility? It often exceeds 100 feet. Great! Look, so many fishes! They are tropical fishes. With good luck, you'll be able to see monk seals, whale sharks, manta rays, and white tip reef sharks. Anyone want an ice cold beverage? No, thanks. Don't forget, they are provided free of charge all day. Ready to serve you any time. Ha ha, thanks. Dialogue 2 I want to make a fun trip on this island. Could you give me some advice? Sure, I'm planning to take part in a funny tour. What is it? It is Starlit Tropical Ocean Fun Cruise. Driving on the sea? Yes, it includes Starlit, snorkeling lesson, and guided snorkel tour of the Rainbow Reef, fishing, water slide, water trampoline, kayaking, and other fun water toys. How did you know? On internet. Why don't you browse on net and get more about it? I would rather not do that. In fact, I have almost decided to go with you. Yeah, so that would be a wonderful tour, open sun deck, relaxing expert narration, and marine life identification by the captain and crew, freshly grilled barbecue lunch buffet, open soda bar. London Dialogue 1 I'd like to visit the famous spots in London. Can you tell me what they are? Well, the British Museum, Buckingham Palace, the House of Parliament, Big Ben, Oxford Street are all good points of interest in this city. Especially the palace. You should never miss because it's quite unique. Oh, I can't wait to go. But I have only one day. So do you think I can visit all of those places in one day? No, you can't, unless you want to take a quick glance. That's too bad. But I still can choose a few of them. Then, what's the best way to do my sightseeing? In that case, I suggest you call a cab. It will save you a lot of time. Dialogue 2 This is Westminster Abbey. It's one of the oldest buildings in London. You will recognize different styles from its architecture. Busts and monuments remind us of William Shakespeare, Walter Scott, and many others like that. To the left, you can see the House of Parliament, with the famous clock tower Big Ben. In this building there are the House of Commons and the House of Lords. There, to the left, you can see a small street, called Downing Street, 
Number 10, the last house, has always been the residence of the British Prime Minister. Now we're approaching Trafalgar Square. This is Tower Bridge, the most striking of all London bridges. Look, the bridge parts in the middle, and two halves move upwards. Down rivers stretch the London docks. Athens Dialogue 1 What are you going to do for Greece? For fun, how about you? I'm going back home. So you live in Athens? Yes, my home is there. It's wonderful. Athens is one of the world-known oldest cities, which worshipped by gods and people. A magical city. Right. It is the city where democracy was born, and most wise men of ancient times used to live there. It's a city with the most glorious history in the world, a birthplace for civilization. You know much about Athens. Athens is one of my best favorite cities, so I read some books about it. The sun is shining over Athens all year round. The climate is one of the best in Europe, with mild winters and very hot summers. Ideal for tourism. You come at the best time of it. Dialogue 2 My wife and I visited Greece ten years ago. So, this is your second time to Athens. How are your feelings about your returned tour? As good as before, but more familiar about it. Of all the places in Greece, what place do you favor? Sacred Rock. We love the Acropolis best. Why? As a magical city, Athens has many sights worth seeing. Right, completely. But the Acropolis is our favorite place. The site is inspiring. Ever since I visited it a few years ago, I have been thinking to come back again. So you realize what you are looking for? Yes. By the way, the view of the Acropolis at night is something you will never forget. This is also one of the most beautiful spots in Athens. Thank you. I will get a good look about it. Venice Dialogue 1 we come at the right time. The end of February and beginning of March is a travel off season, but here is a different scene. Yes, look. Venetians are celebrating in the streets. The beautiful music is comforting the enjoying persons. Hurry up. The carnival is coming. Take it easy, honey. Have you made up? Makeup? Is it necessary? Certainly. During the traditional Venetian carnival, People will dress up in historical costumes and wear intriguing black masks and aristocratic capes. We should incorporate with the local atmosphere. Okay. Why not make some color on face and change a strange hairstyle? Done. Dialogue 2 Like every tourist location, Tourists in Venice must get cameras ready any time. That's true. Could you help me to take a photo here? I like the bridge. In fact, that is one of the attractions in Venice. It indeed has many remarkable structures, such as an impressive array of bronzework, tapestries, and paintings from the 5th to 6th century. Yes, I have noticed a number of them. Very spectacular. It's time for lunch now. Let's find a place to have dinner. Good. Do you have some suggestion? You cannot go wrong with the area surrounding Campo di Santa Margherita in San Polo if you are looking for the upbeat bars and tasty Venice restaurants. Paris Dialogue 1 to see the best, you had better visit the tower gradually. How? You can visit in three stages. 
First, you can take the elevator to the first landing. There you have a view over the rooftops of Paris. And then you come to the second landing. It provides a panoramic look at the city. The third and final stage gives the most spectacular view. You'd better not go to the top landing directly. I see. What can I see within the tower? There are so many for you to visit. For example, on the third level, you can visit Eiffel's office. In the office, you can see wax figures depicting the engineer receiving Thomas Edison. That's fabulous. Tomorrow morning, I'll get up early and visit it first. Dialogue 2 Ready to go out? Yeah, can you give me some help? You know, I'm going to stay here for three days, and I would like to see the Louvre, the Ark of Triumph, and the Versailles. How should I schedule my time? I think you may go to the Versailles first, because it is in the suburbs of Paris. The other places are not far from the center of the city. I would like to go to see the Eiffel Tower at night. I hear it's very beautiful when the light's on. If you want to get to the top, you have to take the lift. And only from June 14th to August 30th, people can use the stairs till midnight. Now it closes at 6.30. That's good. I'll take the lift. Sydney Dialogue 1 have you ever been to Sydney before? No, this is the first trip. Could you tell me what to see here? With pleasure. The attractions here are too many. How long will you stay here? A week. So, you can only visit some top attractions, such as the Sydney Opera House, Harbour Bridge. Yes, I've seen them on TV. You'd better arrange a trip to the native Aussie wildlife in the Taronga Zoo and the Sydney Aquarium. Sorry, I can't catch all these names. Can you write down these names for me? With pleasure. Have you got a map of Sydney? No, I really need one. It's available at the newspaper stand over there. Thank you very much. You've been most helpful. Dialogue 2 Wow, what a splendid design it is. Sydney Opera House is one of the biggest buildings on the earth. It has been a cultural symbol of Sydney. Can we enter the house? Certainly. Come on. Let's enjoy the spirit and art atmosphere of the Sydney Opera House. Vienna Dialogue 1 Excuse me, I'm a tourist from China. I want to enrich my musical knowledge during the trip to Vienna. Can you give me some suggestions? My pleasure. Vienna is a city of music. You might hear Mozart, Schubert, Beethoven, Strauss, or Haydn at an opera house, a church, or an open-air performance. I'm a fan of Mozart. You've landed in the right city. You will not only be able to hear his music in the concert halls, but also visit the places in which he lived and worked. Mozart Memorial is near here, right? Yes, it's not very far from here. You just walk along the street, turn right at the corner, then walk two blocks and you will not miss it. Dialogue 2 Darling, Tickets for the state opera aren't available until Friday. It's a pity. We will have left on Friday. How about the Volksoper? I heard that it also features operettas, musicals, and ballets. Okay, let me try. Oh, shit. Tickets have been fully reserved in advance. I know the City Hall hosts free concerts in summer. Why not go there to have a try? Okay, but before the concert... We still have time. We can go up to the top of the Danube Tower to see a panorama. Great, good idea. That will be a more elevated impression of the city.
Cairo. Dialogue 1 Why did ancient Egyptians call Cairo mother of the cities? Because it is the largest city in Egypt and also in the Arabdom. And why is Cairo named City of Towers? Because there are many minaret. What should I see in Cairo? Well, the museum, Sultan Hassan Mosque, and Madrasa, Citadel of Saladin, the Tower of Cairo, and the world-known pyramids. It said that the Pyramids of Giza is really something. Yes, you better take a look at that. Dialogue 2 Look, that's the Great Pyramid. Oh, yes, it looks very high. It's about 137 meters high. How long are the sides? They are 230 meters. It's incredible! How old is it? It's nearly 4,500 years old. Jewelry Dialogue 1 May I help you find something, sir? I'm looking for a ring. Tell me a little bit about what you want. We have all shapes, sizes, qualities, and price ranges. Well, my price range is $3,000 to $5,000. I'm looking for a Marquise cut on a wide band. You just have a good taste. Let me show you what we have. I'd like to take a look around some more. Okay, take your time. And if you have any other questions, just call me. Dialogue 2 Can I be of any assistance to you, madam? Please show me this pearl necklace. Yes, here it is. Cultured pearls? Yes. Oh, I like it. They are just beautiful. I'll buy it. Today is just weekend, and all the jewelry is on sale. That's great. How much is this one? One thousand dollars. Is it tax-free? Yes, for tourists. I'll take it. Then I'll wrap it for you. Artworks Dialogue 1 Good afternoon, sir. Could I be of any service? Good afternoon. I'd like to buy a cloisonne vase. Yes, sir. Just over there. I like a medium-sized cloisonne vase with a light blue background. How do you like this one? The background is pale blue with traditional Chinese paintings of mountains and rivers. It's gorgeous. How much is it? 150 yuan. That is too much. Can you come down a little bit? I can give you a 20% discount. I will take it if you can take 50 yuan off the price. All right. You can have it at this price. This price is reasonable. I will take it. Here is the money. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? I want to get this reproduction of Mona Lisa. How much is it? The marked price is 700 yuan. That's too much. I'll take it if you give me a 50% discount. Well, I can just take 100 yuan off the price. All right, I will take it. Could you mount it for me? No problem. I will do that for you. You can come to pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Be sure to pack it well. Electronic Products Dialogue 1 Good morning. Can I help you? I want an iPod, please. What about this one? It's handy and only $60. Do you have a cheaper one? Have a look at this one. 
It's only fifty dollars. How do I switch it on? Press the play button on top and turn up the volume knob. I see. It sounds very good. I'll take it. Dialogue two. Hello. Could you show me that Canon autofocus camera? Okay. Here you are. How much does it cost? One hundred and sixty-nine dollars. It's too much. Can you reduce the price? It depends. How many do you want? I will buy three if you can give me a lower price. Wait a minute. I'll ask our manager. Okay. If you buy three, we can reduce the price to one hundred and fifty. Well, I will take three. Leatherware. Dialogue one. I'm looking for a handbag as a gift. We just received a shipment of several different styles handbags. Would you show me the white handbag? Here you are. You're in luck. This is the only one left. White is popular this season. Yes, I believe it is. But there is a stain here. We have something that might interest you. Oh, anything better? Look at this one. What do you like it? Wow, I have never seen such a nice handbag. I'll take this one. Let me ring this up for you at the register. Dialogue two. Are you being attended to, madam? Well, I'm just looking for something for my husband. What would you recommend? Would you please come over here, madam? I like to show you some fancy waistband. They are made of the leather of kangaroos and crocodiles. Oh, they look so elegant. I like the light brown one. May I have a look at it? Sure. It is the latest fashion. Its simple style makes it easier to go with different clothes. That's it. I think he will be satisfied to have it. Cosmetics. Dialogue one. What can I do for you, sir? Yes, it's my first visit here. I need to get my fiance some Chanel. Please look at these. All of these are from Chanel. Wow, too many to choose. I recommend you this. The smell is nice. Is it a typical Paris perfume? Yes, this kind of perfume is elegant in smell, and the fragrance lasts long. Okay. Could you get me the 1.7 ounce bottle? That will be my pleasure. I'll wrap the perfume up in a gift box for you too. Thank you for your consideration. Dialogue two. I'm looking for some blusher. Do you have some in peach rose? Oh yes, I have two left. Here you are. This is a beautiful color. It has been very popular blush this season. Great, I'll take this one. Do you need anything else? No, thank you. Women's clothes. Dialogue one. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, I want to buy a dress. What about this kind of dress in Chanel? It's one of our biggest sellers. It looks nice. Do you have this in size six? Sorry, it's one size that fits all, but I think it fits you. Let me see. Do you think a cream one will fit me? Well, the cream one is beautiful indeed, but I think the black one will suit you better. Really? Please get it for me. Follow me. I'll take you to the fitting room. If you need any help. Let me know. I'll be sure to. Dialogue two. Do you have any gowns for about fifty dollars? Yes, we do have some new arrivals that may interest you. I'm looking for something special. 
Would you like this design in red? It's on sale now. The gown feels very well. How much is it? Forty-five dollars. Is this made of pure silk? Yes, it is. It's velvety and brilliant. Is it washable? Yes, it is. But you have to be careful. But I don't like the color. How about the lavender one? Good. May I try it on? Certainly. Men's clothes. Dialogue one. Good morning. I'm looking for a tie. Our ties are over here, next to coats and jackets. May I see these ties? Yes, certainly. Here's a nice-looking one, a special color of Hawaii. Yes, it is attractive, but I think it's a little too loud. Let me see that gray and blue one. This one? Yes, that's the one. It's very nice. I'll take it. Okay. Do you need packing? No, it's just for myself. Dialogue two. Can I help you? I want a leather jacket. What color did you have in mind? Khaki green. What size, please? Size forty. Let's see. Yes, here's a size forty. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. This is a little too big. Do you have something smaller? Sure. Try this size thirty-nine. Yes, this fits very well. I'll take it. It'll be fifteen percent off the price. You've got a good deal. That is good. Thank you. Shoes. Dialogue one. Can I help you? I'm looking for a pair of black shoes. What size do you want? Size nine. I'm afraid we haven't got any black shoes in that size at the moment, but we have got brown ones. Hmm, that is fine too. What about that pair over there? Reasonable. Can I try them on? Certainly. Here is the shoe lifter. Thank you. Hmm, they seem a little bit tight. Here is a larger size. Dialogue two. What can I do for you, sir? I like some leather shoes. Okay. What's your size? I don't know American sizes. No problem. Put your foot here. Let me see. Yes, you're a six. Just a moment, please. Here you are. These are very comfortable. Try these on. Yes, they're very nice. But I want slip-ons. How about these? They don't have laces. Try them. Fine. I'll take these. Duty-free goods. Dialog one. How do we go about purchasing things in this catalog? You can order them here on the plane. Or visit one of the duty-free shops in the airport when we land. How much is this Remy Martin VSOP? It's forty-five dollars. It's our special offer today. Okay, I'd like five bottles. Sorry, there's a limit on some of the items. You are limited to purchase only three bottles of wine or liquor. Well, let me have three. Dialogue two. Good afternoon. Can I help you? I'd like to get something duty free here. Okay, sir. Would you please show me your passport and your air ticket? Sure. Here you are. Do you know how much liquor I'm allowed to take away from America? Up to two bottles per person. Okay. I will take these two. You will receive our check for duty exemption in about two months. Can I take those items now? Sorry, you can't. We will send them to the airport.